<laughs> Hello. Now, today I would like to talk to you about a concept I call Diptha. D I P T H A, Diptha. Probably you've seen me in some of those, some of my talks, probably even on my blogs, on my social media pages, AMB, Steve Mbugu on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and all my social media networks. I've always talked about Diptha. Now, whichever dream that you have and a vision, there's that goal that you're pursuing that you desire that one day I want to be this kind of a person, one day I want to achieve this, one day I want to be this at uh, this level in life. Dipta will work for you and I prescribed Dipta to you. Now, what does it stand for? D stands for desire. Whatever you desire, anything that you desire so bad, one day you'll end up having it having that desire that appetite that yearning you yearn to be this kind of a person for example if you desire so much to be a musician a superstar you'll find yourself watching what other musicians other superstars are doing you'll find yourself in trying to copy and imitate them and because of that desire one day you end up finding yourself you are heading towards that direction desire to be desire to achieve number two is i imagination you imagine yourself being it for example if you want to be a lawyer start imagining yourself being this great lawyer dress like a lawyer argue a concept like a lawyer try to defend any situation defend the sun defend the moon defend the the wind defend the ocean the waves and all that try to develop any concept listen and the political environment what are people saying try to defend them you know start imagining yourself being one of these great lawyers p stand for perception perceive yourself being one you know you perceive you see yourself being one you present yourself as one even you can change your social media pages and start calling yourself that great person and you desire to be a pastor you perceive it to be a great pastor, start calling yourself pastor so and so, doctor so and so, yeah, engineer so and so. And you realize the time goes by, you'll achieve this. That is my perception. He is, th- he is thirsty. Be thirsty. Develop that thirst to achieve and accomplish. H is hunger. Be hungry to achieve. Thirst and hunger combined together can make you do exploits. That's why you see marathoners running every morning, every day, because they have that thirst and hunger to achieve and succeed. And that's why you see great people like Messi and Maradona every day they're on the pitch. They are trying their best to win, to do better than they have done before. That's thirst and hunger. And finally, E is aspiration, aspire to be. Let there be that starting, something styling you from the change of your mindset and an inner push and uh, something inside trying to push you, trying to style you up. That you have to get this, you have to go and achieve. So deep down, desire, you imagine, you perceive, you be thirsty, be hungry. And have that aspiration, aspire to be one. And my friend, nothing will be irresistible. You break all events, you go against all odds, you break all limits, and you'll achieve that dream, that vision, that goal. And one day we will share stories of how we conquered and how we came to these great heights. God bless you, man of God.